knife and pot up cycle here. We have this cute little table. The top has already been sanded and it's had one coat of lime wash. Uh, the legs have all been scuffed sanded and washed with um, Purico Lemon Myrtle. Um, I was given a sample pot of Inkwell and that was from Le Belle Maison which is an Australian stockist for Purico products. This is Inkwell Silk, it's 40 mil I think. I have been giving it a little stir and we're going to see if it's enough to do this table. So keep watching, we'll see if it's going to do it. And I will be using 25mm sleep brush so I can actually get it inside this little sample pot. Hi, here we go. This tiny little pot of inkwell, 40 millimeters in there, and we're going to get around the table. And looking at that, the coverage is really well. I'm very impressed with it. I just wish I could paint this quickly. It's great. Let's see how far we get. Brilliant. It needs two coats by the look of it, but the first coat in the inkwell, it has got some excellent coverage. This is one coat with the inkwell, sleek, 25mm brush, and so far the coverage is coverage, oh, it's beautiful. So that's had one coat, and we need to do another one. I think two coats will do it. So, how much do you think is left in this jar? Is there going to be enough to finish? Keep tuned in, let's see. And there was even enough left to do a little stencil on the top. So the inkwell from Purico did a really good stencil. So now that we know that, we know the paint is good for using on stencils too. However, we do need to seal the top in now, which a few coats of varnish. Isn't it beautiful? Well, there you have it. Two coats of inkwell, beautiful. And there was enough left, so we even put a stencil on top. I love the color. And if anybody was wondering how much was left in, there's still about a centimeter left in the bottom of this, which can go to the customer as well for touch-ups. Isn't that great? Look at that, beautiful. So all we've got to do now is just put a little bit of varnish on top. <laughs> 